Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to talk about how to use S Pen for Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus with 20 tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. Now you can see this app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is just select this blue bar from here, then select this opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes if you want to do the screen recording of your note taking and your video you can also do it just bring down this quick panel and then select this screen recorder option and then start recording now after this countdown your screen recording will start so here we have different tools available if you want to highlight anything important in your video you can use this pen tool and now you can highlight anything important from your video you can also highlight anything from your notes as well the next thing is you can also turn on the front camera as well so here is the front camera option so here you can see the front camera is now turned on you can move it to any position on your screen recording the next thing is once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option from here and your video will be saved in your gallery and later you can access it and you can share it with your friends and with your colleagues the next tip is about screen of memo. For example, your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write down some important information. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the screen of memo and here you can write anything important. You can also change the thickness of the pen and you can also change the color. So from here you can select different color options as well. Once you finish with your screen of memo you can use this save option and then later you can access it through samsung notes the next tip is about adding text to notes. For example, you are browsing a website and you find some interesting information that you want to save. So just press this S Pen button and then start selecting the text that you want to save. So for example, I will select till here. So once you finish with your selection, on top you have this menu available. Select this add to note option and then it will add this text to your notes and it will also give you the link of the website on top as well. The next tip is about dragging image from a website to notes. For example, I open Samsung notes and here I will start taking notes and now I want some image from a website into my notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then I will open the Samsung internet browser here in the split screen. Now here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image. So I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag this image into my notes and later I can edit it. The next thing is you can also bring this image without these labels. So what you can do again press and hold uh, this image like this and then select this option of clip subject from background. So once you select this option only the image part will pop out without these labels and now you can use your S Pen and then you can bring this image into your notes as well and then later you can edit it. The next thing is you can also drag any text from a website directly to your notes as well. For example, I will open a website with some text. So here we have this text. Now I want this text into my notes. So I will use my S Pen. I will start selecting the text. So for example, I will select till here. Now I want this text into my notes. Again, I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this. And now I can easily drag and drop it into my notes. And later I can also edit it. The next tip is about adding whole web page into your notes. 
for example i open this website and i want this website into my notes so first of all i will select this reader mode option it will open the simplified version of the website without unnecessary menus and advertisements now i will take out this edge panel and then i open samsung notes here in split screen now i will open new notes and at the bottom you see it is giving me the option of link and whole page so i will select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website into my notes and later i can also edit it so we just have to wait for a few seconds and then i will show you so here you can see the website is now available in my notes with all the text and the images now what you can do is if you want to highlight any important information you can highlight it if you want to write something here on your page you can also do it you can also select the page sorter option so here you can access any page for this website the next tip is about s pen to text for example i open google and i want to search something on google i can use my s pen i just select the search bar and then i will write here with my s pen so i will write brain anatomy and then it will convert it into the text and then i select the search option and then it will give me the results same way you can also use it in the url section so i will just select this url then i will cut it and then i will start writing here so for example i will write here samsung dot so here you can see it converted into the text then i select this go option and then it will open the website for me the next step is about glance mode for example i open this website and i want this website in a glance mode so i will select this air command option and here is the glance tool so i will just select it once you select it the website will become a very small thumbnail and it will appear over here in the corner now if you bring your s pen closer to this thumbnail it will open the website and you can access it now if i remove my s pen from the screen it will go back to its thumbnail position you can use it for cross referencing for example you can open any other app let's say i open samsung notes and here i will start taking notes now i will bring my s pen closer to the website for cross referencing so i can read any important information and then i will remove my s pen and then i can write that information here in my notes the next step is about sharing any important information with your friends or with your colleagues for example i am reading this book and i want to share this page with my friend so i will just select this air command option and from here i will select this screen write tool so once you select it it will take the screenshot for this page and now here you can use the pen tool and you can highlight anything important in this page so here we have other tools also available so you can highlight any paragraph or any line and then here we have this share icon so once you select it here it will give you different platforms so you can share it with your friends or with your colleagues the next step is about pin to your screen for example i open this website and here i found something important for example here we have this black friday deal and now i want to pin it to my screen so i will use this air command option and then i will open this smart select tool now i can use my s pen and i can select any part of the screen for example i want to select this part so i will just select till here now you can see the specific part is now selected now on top you can see we have this pin option so you can use this pin option and now this part is pinned to my screen so even if i go out of the website it is still available even if i open any other website the pin is still available there you can also change the size of the pin just tap it one time like this and here we have this minimize option so once you select this minimize option it will become very small like a thumbnail and then if you select it like this it will open the pin for you
The next step is about action icons. For example, I open Samsung notes and here I will write a random phone number and now I will select this back arrow and now I will bring my S Pen closer to this number. So once you bring your S Pen closer, here you see the phone icon appear. You can select it, it will open the dialer and you can call on this number. Same way you can also do it for email ID. So for example, I will write an email ID here. So abc at gmail.com. Now I will select this back arrow and now I will bring my S Pen closer to this email ID and here you see the email icon appear. So I will just select it and here it will give you the option of complete action using Gmail or Outlook. Same way you can also do it for the calculation. For example here I will write 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4 equal and then I will select this back arrow and now I will bring my S Pen closer to this equation and here you can see the calculator icon appear. So now I will select this calculator icon. It will open the calculator with the same calculation and the results. The next step is about translation. For example, I open a website and the website is in a different language and I want to translate it. So I can use my S Pen. So first of all, I will open the air command option and then from here I will open the translate tool. So once you select this translate tool, now what you have to do, you have to bring your S Pen closer to the word. So I will just bring my S Pen closer to this word and here you can see it is giving me the translation. So here on top it is also showing you different languages option. You can also customize it. The next step is about extracting text from an image. For example, I open my gallery and here I have this image and I want to extract this text. So I will just single tap it like this and here we have this T icon available. So you can just select it. So it will highlight all the text in the image. Now you can use your S Pen and then just press and hold it like this and then you can use this select all option. So all the text is highlighted and now you can copy or share it. So for example, if I want to share it to my notes, I just select this share option and then I select Samsung notes and then I will select add to new note. So now the text is available in my notes. The next step is about signing a PDF file. So you can use your S Pen for PDF annotations. So you can use Zodo app and here for example I want to sign here. So you can just select this arrow and then here we have this option of fill and sign. So you can just select it and then from here you can create your signatures. So here is the signature options and then here you can see this create signature option available. So you can select it and here you can make your signature. For example, I make the signature and then select done. Now I want to sign here. So I will just use my S Pen and then I will just tap it like this and my signature will be available in my PDF file. The next step is about writing in videos. So for example, I open my gallery and here I have this video and I want to write in this video. So I can use the editor option. I will just tap it like this and here we have this pen icon for the editing. So you can just select it. Once you select it here, the very first option is about decorations. So just select it. Once you select it here, we have different tools available. Now you can select the live option and now you can draw anything on your video. Even if you want to write, you can also write it. And once you finish with your writing, you can select this done option and from here you can play it. So once you play it, this is how it looks like. So you can use your S Pen for editing as well. The next step is about drawing. So you can use your S Pen for drawing. So open the air command option and then from here you can open the pen up app. So here we have different drawing options. So you can select any drawing and then you can start coloring. And here you can see we have different brushes, different pencils, different drawing tools available. And here we have different color options available. You can also use this paint tool to draw anything on your tablet. 
The next step is about writing on calendar. So you can use your S Pen to write on calendar. So you can open the air command option and then you can select this write on calendar app. So here is the calendar and now you can use your S Pen to write anything on any date. For example, for the 18th of January, I want to write uh, some important reminder. I can use my S Pen to write anything. And here we have different tools available. So here is the pen tool. So you can select different different pen option we also have this highlighter option as well so you can highlight anything important you can also use this eraser tool as well once you finish uh, with your writing you can select the save option and now it is available in your calendar in writing format the next step is about air preview so you can use your s pen for air preview for example i open the gallery and now i want to preview this image so i will use my s pen i will bring closer to this image and then it will give me a preview of this image same way you can also do it for the videos for example i will bring my s pen closer to this video so it will give me a preview of this video as well the next step is about S Pen customization. So you can open the settings and then from here you can scroll down and you will see an option of advanced features. So just select this option and here you have the second option is about S Pen. So you can select S Pen and here you can do all your customizations. For example, if you want to customize the air command, so here you can change the menu style. You can also add the shortcuts from here. And then if you go back, we have more options available. Available. For example, if you want to disable the S Pen to text option, you can disable it from here. You can also select this air view option from here. You can also select the screen of memo, quick notes and here we have more S Pen settings available. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.